Today we're going to talk about the placebo effect. Stick around. So the placebo effect, you probably heard about it. I'll give you a quick example of what it is. Let's say you have a headache and you take your favorite pain medication. And you know, an hour later, you're feeling better, less pain, maybe no pain, I don't know. And then one day I play a trick on you. I take those pain medications and I replace them with an exact duplicate, except it's only sugar. There's no active medicine in there. And you take them and lo and behold, about an hour later, you feel better, less pain or no pain. That's what the placebo effect is. So it's like you think you're getting this and therefore your body reacts as if you really got it but you never got it. That's what the placebo effect is. Now there's a surgery going around. People that have bad knees, when they get older, they can get bad knees for maybe a lot of running or jogging, impact. Stuff with a lot of impact and they have to get knee surgeries. I forgot what the correct term is. Anyways, they have to get knee surgeries. And they go in for knee surgery, right? And they, some of them improve, some of them don't. The thing is, the funny thing is, there have been a lot of studies done on, uh, they, fool the, they fool the patients. Instead of going, doing the surgery, all they do, the doctors, is they make the small incisions around your knee, as if you got the surgery. You wake up from the anesthetics, because in that kind of surgery, I believe you're under, you are... Uh, you know, they put you asleep. And then when you wake up, of course, you see those scars on your knees, you know, and you think you got the, um, the surgery done. But in reality, you got nothing done. Patients do as well with the real surgery as with the fake surgery. That's weird. And it's not just knee surgery. There's a lot of other surgeries where it's the same type of effect. So it's not limited to the knee. Could be any type of surgery. Back surgery, who knows? So surgeries in general. You could have the fake surgery where they just cut you, like you wake up and you have like scars, right? Because they cut you, where they cut you, but they didn't do anything. And there's the other surgery which they perform the operation. Both can give the same results. Hmm. Now one time I saw my doctor and just a regular checkup for health and stuff. And he's asking me questions. I said, yeah, uh, I switched my diet actually because um, I'm eating uh, raw diet now or mostly raw, 70 to 80% raw, meaning uh, just fruits and vegetables, raw fruits and vegetables. Don't cook them. And I told him the reason why I'm doing this is because I did some research on the internet and there's a clinic in the States that cures cancer they have like a very high success rate i think it's honestly i think it's like 90 percent success rate and uh before the uh that clinic accepts you you have to sign this agreement that you have to, you will do exactly what the doctor says and if you don't follow exactly the doctor's orders they won't continue the the the, uh, the treatment on you but basically it's no meat and a raw diet just raw vegetables and fruits and grains. That's it. I don't know if the grains are uh, raw, but mainly fruits and vegetables, raw. That's all you eat. And uh, that's what the doctor prescribes and very, very high success rate. So I tell my doctor this, I, I tell them, you know, if it can cure cancer, imagine what it can do to somebody who's pretty healthy to begin with to prevent any kind of disease or cancer. So I, I tell him this about that clinic in the States. And you know what he tells me? He tells me, oh, that's just placebo effect. That's just like, you know, it's, it's, in, it's in your mind. Basically, he's brushing it off. He's brushing it off as if like, oh, that's nothing. 
like, wait, so, I, so I'm like in my head, I'm like, wait a second, there's this thing that you can cure cancer, but you don't take any medication, you cure yourself, and that you just brush away? Uh, I mean, that is more important than the medication they have now. Being able to cure yourself from your mind is a much bigger news story than taking some pills. But this doctor, nah, he just brushes it off. He just brushes it off as if like, it's nothing, as if it's nothing. Crazy. So wait a second, you can cure yourself, but he brushes it off. But it just gives you a very good viewpoint or a very good example of doctors, especially the Western world doctors, what they get taught in school. They get taught, you know, materialistic thinking again, I told you already. The only thing, they, they reinforce that through all the years, because doctors, right, a lot of years in school. So year after year after year after year, they, the, the teachings, the, the, um, the teachers and the, the books all come from a assumption. The only thing that exists in this world is what you can taste, touch, see, hear, and smell. That's it, your five senses. That's the only thing that's real. Anything else is not real. This is the materialistic or um, reductionist viewpoint. This is why these doctors, when I tell them about that clinic or placebo effect, they're like, ugh, you know, <sighs> it's incredible. Me, it blows my mind. So you're probably saying to yourself, yeah, 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 the placebo effect, it, uh, it's your mind. Your mind is uh, strong. Your mind could fool your body. But guess what? Placebo effect also works on dogs. <laughs> mind blown. Yeah, works on dogs and other animals. Now, how the hell does that happen? They, there's a study um, where they did, they took dogs with seizures, epileptic seizures. And half of them, they two groups, a controlled group, right? And a, uh, another group. So one group, they gave the real medicine. And the other group, they gave just sugar pills. And guess what? The dogs in both groups improved the same amount. Hmm. The placebo effect works on animals. That is f***ed up. So it's not like the dogs know, oh, I'm getting this pill that treats my seizures. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm getting it again. So no, they don't know what you're, you know, they don't know that you're giving them a special medication or something, right? Most of the time you hide it in their food. So, you know, that makes you think, what is actually going on here? So it's not like the dogs are tricking themselves. Oh, here comes my medication. Ooh, no. Now, now that is a f***ing brain scratcher. Uh, it's almost like it's the humans that are doing it. The humans are expecting the dogs to get better. And therefore the dog gets better. Because of what I said before about the um, Western world and materialism, there's not a lot of research that gets done into the placebo effect. There's like, of all the funding that's available, all right, maybe, 1% of all the funding for medical research to help people, hardly anything going into placebo effect. That's why we're so behind. That's why we are so behind in uh, certain parts of um, science. So it just goes to show how much we don't understand this universe or a human body. Do you know that we used to, when people got sick in, in, a long time ago, hundreds of years ago, when we got sick, doctors back then prescribed you to drink arsenic. That's pure poison to treat your ailment, to treat your whatever disease or whatever you have wrong with you. They also uh, did stuff like bleeding and they cut you open so you bleed let the blood out thinking that the bad stuff is gonna come out Imagine that you're sick. You're really sick and now we're gonna you're gonna we're gonna take your blood out 
They used to do this. They used to think that way. So we come a long way in uh, medication and you know healing and all that. But still, we are so far because we're not putting enough time. Look, I'm not saying only study placebo effect. I'm not saying that. I'm saying we have to balance it. We have to put the same amount of money and funding into things that are weird, like the placebo effect, and into things that are like under a microscope, they could see a chemical reaction. The funding is 99% materialism for materialism stuff, what I mentioned before, that type of thinking. And it's only like 1% or not even, is put to other stuff, consciousness and like, you know, um, the placebo effect and all that. That's weird that they don't do that. But you know, that's, that's what you get when you have uh, the materialist mindset from the start. Also, the placebo effect can change if the, if the color of the pill that you're taking. Blue pills might work better than yellow pills in some cases. Also, the price. If the pill is very expensive, $500 compared to like $50, the $500 pill will work better. The fake $500 pill. $500 pill is gonna work better than the $50 placebo pill. And also where you live in the world, it affects it. So let's say people in uh, Germany, uh, this pill will work, the placebo effect of this pill will work better there than let's say in South America. The placebo effect also varies on how you take the medication. If you take it, if you drink it, that's, you know, you'll have less. If you take a pill, you'll get more of the placebo effect. If you get an injection, something like that, it's even greater. So it's, so it's where you are in the world, pill color, how you take it, the amount that you take it, crazy also to get one thing straight is as we all know already not every medication works for everybody all the time right I'm sure you already had a headache and you took like two two uh, Advils or something and didn't really do anything or hardly anything or do anything right but on some people it like it's a miracle they take it like a half hour later it's all gone so the same thing with placebo effect. Sometimes the placebo effect does a little, a little bit. Sometimes it does a, it cures it completely. It cures you completely. So there's a variance too of the placebo effect. And guess what? The placebo effect is increasing over time. Meaning 200 years ago, it didn't work as well as 100 years ago. And today, it's more powerful than it was a hundred years ago. Meaning more people are getting cured from those sugar pills than from the real medication compared to a hundred, two years ago. Now that's weird. That's also weird. Okay, so anyways, hope you liked my video on um, the placebo effect and consciousness. So like, share and comment subscribe also if you like the stuff we're talking about on this channel i got a lot more stuff coming up i got a lot of stuff to do this caffeine's really kicking in and decaf what the f